What's going on guys? Sean Elliott. Hope everybody's doing well on this uh, Thursday afternoon. I'm actually driving. I'm always to the gym right now. Let me know what you guys think about these uh, programs that I'm putting out for you. And let me know uh, if how it's working out for you. And uh, if you guys would like to see more content uh, going further in depth on a certain routine that you like. Because uh, I'm curious, guys. You know, I want to see how you guys are receiving this. You know, I'm doing this channel for you. You know, you guys ask me, uh, you know, what are certain uh, movements that I do. And uh, I try to get them to you guys, you know, as, as good as possible. You know, I'm learning to do with camera equipment and stuff like that. But just uh, bear with me, guys. I'll be doing better uh, here pretty soon. Anyways, hopping straight into it. I got an email from my cousin the other day. He asked me about genetic superiority and the three different body styles that exist. And uh, what he means by the three different body styles are going to be uh, ectomorph, mesomorph, and endomorph. And basically, all those are, are the body styles and how it matches with your metabolic rate, how fast you guys burn calories, basically. And it's going to uh, basically go into how your whole body, your body looks as a whole uh, transformation. Because as we know, guys, and uh, as I might have explained to you guys in a previous video, I can't remember... Um, when it comes to bodybuilding, I mean, it's going to be a whole package. It's not just going in the gym lifting weights. It's going to be what you eat and uh, just how your body uh, reacts to what you eat and just the amount of fat that your body retains. And it's going to be a lot that goes into it. You know, muscle development is basically going to be the weightlifting portion of it. But uh, how they show, you know, your rip definition, uh, how your muscles appear and everything, are going to be based off how your body retains water, fat, and a whole lot of other factors go into that, guys. Uh, but going back into the topic uh, with the dirty three different body styles, ectomorph being the body style that is uh, harder to gain weight with. So being an ectomorph myself, it's harder for me to uh, put on size. So therefore I have to intake a lot more calories than a normal person would or a person of a different body style would. So for me, you know, my metabolic rate being so high, uh, it's gonna affect the way that I look. And uh, some people may call it the gift because I can eat basically whatever I want and I do because I don't compete. Uh, so I don't, I don't do all the clean eating and stuff. But you know, a person who are competing, you know, you still have to eat clean and everything. I mean, that's the given for everybody who wants to, uh, you know, go into the competition world. But I don't necessarily have to worry so much about portion control, which is a big factor if you're in the mesomorph slash endomorph category, because those uh, body types are not going to allow you the uh, the ability to burn calories as fast as you would as an ectomorph. And uh, it, there's no real superiority in the game, guys. It's basically just playing to what your strengths are. Uh, me being an ectomorph, if I were in the competition world, I'll go for something more like physique or what they have now is a classic bodybuilding. And that would optimize my uh, my ranking in that category due to the fact that it plays to my body type uh, genetically. So if I were uh, more of a mesomorph style, which is the body type that uh, puts on puts on weight uh, at a moderate weight, it's going to be your basic body type, uh, moderate, um, I guess, uh, caloric uh, intake would be. Uh, good for a mesomorph because you have a, a, a moderate metabolic rate. So for that body style, you know, you'd be more inclined to want to do something more like a traditional bodybuilding or even powerlifting. And that's going to be a lot of another factor, guys. This is going to be something that's going to affect your uh, your performance in the industry. You know, having a larger body style, you're going to have larger, a more body weight. And you're going to be able to lift more weight in that aspect. Um, and it doesn't necessarily limit anybody from doing anything, guys. Do what you want, do what your heart uh, desires. But like I said, there's a lot of genetics that play into that. Uh, going into the final category, uh, endomorph being the larger body style, these are the guys that have to watch, you know, everything they eat because they'll blow up uh, in size basically or with body fat um, and no more are typically going to be your uh, your, your power lifter style uh, you're going to see those guys that are really big and brawly uh, have a lot of body fat but they're strong as hell uh, you know and me for instance you know be having an ectomorph body type you know uh, if I were going to the competition world as a power lifter it'd be hard for me to compete against an ectomorph just or I'm sorry an endomorph due to the fact that their genetics allow them to have certain abilities that I don't necessarily have genetically going back into the bodybuilding aspect of it and how it relates to genetics would basically be a point of insertions that at that point guys uh, that will also be a big factor when it comes to your personal genetics or your assertions of me, for instance, uh, being an ectomorph and just my specific genetics to myself, I have uh, I have high insertions with all of my muscle groups. That means I have higher lats. My lats are going to insert higher than a person with a different genetic build where their lats may insert a lot lower. Or it, it also boils down to uh, calves. I mean, any muscle group that you guys think of, insertions are going to play a huge role when it comes to the appearance of your muscles and how they uh, how they develop overall. Because that's one thing that's going to uh, stay true in, uh, to tie guys is that you cannot alter the physical appearance of your muscles. They're going to develop the best that they can develop, and uh, they're going to remain the they're going to remain the same. They're going to get larger, but like I said, insertions have a lot to uh, to play with that. 
what it boils down to, guys, is just be the best that you can be. Sure, muscle insertions and body types and all the stuff that we discussed today are going to play a factor when it comes into your overall appearance, but you're never limited, guys. There's no such thing as a plateau or there's no such thing as a, you know, not improving yourself. So you're, there's always going to be a place for you to improve. Uh, just look at yourselves, guys. Uh, go over the different body types that we looked at today and to try to figure out where you're at. And you know yourself. I mean, you guys have been, have been on this earth, you know, your whole lives. So you understand, you know, what foods and uh, how what lifestyles, you know, affect you and how it uh, affects your physical appearance. So that'll be it for me, guys. Uh, I just pulled up at the gym. I'm going to go in here, hit another back day. And uh, if you guys have any more questions, like I said, don't be afraid to leave a question in the comment section. This is how I actually uh, get the best content for you guys because I see what you want. And, uh, you know, I'm able to cater to you guys and uh, see what kind of topics that you guys are wanting to discuss. So, like I said, guys, I'm about to go in here and hit some back. Uh, stay motivated, everyone. Make sure you like and sub subscribe to the page. Uh, tell your friends about this. Make sure that they, uh, you know, they understand the whole concept behind natural selection fitness. And uh, have a good day, guys.